On the 6th of May 1937, the German passenger airship LZ-129 Hindenburg experienced a mid-air explosion at Lakehurst, New Jersey and was engulfed in flames in just 32 seconds. Welcome to History Pod. At the time, the Hindenburg was the fastest and most luxurious way to cross the Atlantic Ocean. It had already completed 63 flights from its base in Germany to a range of destinations that went as far as Rio de Janeiro. The airship had also been used as a propaganda tool to support Hitler's remilitarization of the Rhineland in 1936 and flew over the Berlin Olympics later that year. The Hindenburg began its maiden transatlantic flight exactly one year before the disaster on the 6th of May 1936. By the end of the year, it had crossed the Atlantic 34 times, transporting 3,500 passengers and 30,000 kilograms of mail. It was, therefore, a proven and reliable form of transport, although high ticket prices placed it out of reach for most ordinary Germans. When the Hindenburg arrived at Lakehurst on the 6th of May 1937, Captain Max Pruss delayed landing due to poor weather conditions. Three hours later, he returned to Lakehurst and carried out a swift landing to take advantage of an improvement in the weather. The landing ropes were dropped at 7.21pm and shortly afterwards the Hindenburg was engulfed by flames. The most widely accepted explanation for the fire is that the airship was statically charged as a result of flying through the storm. The landing ropes consequently earthed the airship, resulting in a spark that ignited it. However, the biggest single reason for the huge fire is simple. The Hindenburg contains 7 million cubic feet of explosive hydrogen gas. 